the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Was kind of vaguely to me not emphasized as much. And and then if you talk about the the uh, the 400 years of slavery or the systematic racism or uh, of all that stuff, it means that the emphasis of loving one another was replaced with the justification to abuse one another, right? In other words, they even did it when Jesus showed up. Oh yeah, as long as they say they love God, then they can say whatever they want afterwards exactly because they think that that's going to be the the, the end all exactly otherwise they do they think they're doing the will of god to 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 put the wrath of god onto somebody you know yeah yeah, yeah i like your little background there <laughs> i only did that because you put one on there yeah got the, i'm got trying the, i'm trying to be like-minded Come on, brother. Come on. <laughs> and you also did. You say, look, I'm letting y'all know this black Jesus right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or, or, or you say, look, that's the that's the complexion of the people at that time. <laughs> I'm just trying to be real. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, look, I, I've, I've been showing the background of multitude of people, multitude of you know beliefs. Okay. okay. But you know, the other thing too that I'm saying is though. And I'm wondering whether that message, well, I'm not wondering, I think, I believe, based on the scriptures, we need to re-energize that as part of the messages for the gospel of loving one another, not division, not hate. Uh, we tried it in the 60s. Remember in the 60s and 70s, the elder, there was a, the love. You know, remember the Beatles did, it's all nothing but love. Da, 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 da. I needed love. I needed love. Need love. Exactly. Love. It was a message. Was all you need. It was a message, right? It was sung over and over again. But when you look at the 60s, their, their, their love dealt more from a sexual point of view. A lot of cases, right? You had a lot of those uh, new. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, and they call that love, right? So that was kind of. That was Lou, and, this and, lascivious and, behavior. And appeal to the flesh for quite a bit, you know, to, to a lot of people, the young ones anyway, right? Yeah. Free love, right? But that's oh, what, they not that's the world concept. Of love. Love. And yeah. it, obviously it didn't sustain itself because you don't hear as much as, you don't hear the words, all they need is love. Matter of fact, the symbol that, it seems to have lasted, but then last still don't not emphasize much as peace. You mean old peace symbol, right? Love and peace. Well, it's not sustainable because it's not coming from the heart. Exactly. But the other part though is that we're not emphasizing the love of our neighbor as much either. You know, we look at the manifestation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And here, I, I'm going to be sitting here for a minute. I'm not be able to. I'm not I'm not able to move from it. I still think that God and love is synonymous. Yeah. It's, and so if we want to see what love really looks like. We have to look at the manifestation of love, who I think is Jesus Christ. Right. As he said, he is the manifestation of the invisible God. Right. Exactly. So when we look at Christ. If we are truly disciples of God, disciples of love, we're going to mimic his behavior. We're going to adopt his value system initially. Uh -huh. Adopt his value system and begin to mimic his behavior. Right. As a result of having adopted the system. If we don't do that, then we have a distorted picture of who God is and what love is. Really. Yes. And that to me becomes, that is the, the problem. Exactly. The problem is, it's not that we don't, I can't say we don't know. We know love because we know Jesus. 
we know Jesus, right. We should know Jesus, and we need to maybe put more emphasis on studying him and finding out his true nature and character. I think that's an important, important aspect of it. You gotta get make this love relationship with him first. Well, see, Vic, Elder, one of the things is that if you, we, I was looking at the uh, the, the Ten Commandments, right? Right. And then I was looking at the two great commandments. Right. And I realized, I, I, and check check this out, because I, 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 Jesus was not quoting, now he may quote in Deuteronomy, but I'm talking about when God gave the Ten Commandments, I'm just talking about Ten Commandments proper, right? Then yeah, there's, there's nothing in there. I just read it, and I'll put it up there if anybody else wanted to see it. In the Ten Commandments, what God gave the children of Israel, right? What was put on those tablets, correct? Yeah. What was put on those tablets, there is, I did not see, you correct me if I'm wrong, but he, he told them on the, uh, let me put it up on the screen here. I think what he did get was something new because if you look at this, as far as the commandments, the Ten Commandments, not the the Mosaic uh, laws. I, I, I'm from one through. Uh, I, I read it saying, "God, this is God speaking, right? God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which has brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make." unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord thy God, I'm a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and show mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Then he went over what the seven days are. Then he went into the part of our honor, father and mother. Where in, in Brother Addison, in the, uh, where is that where he said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God? Yeah. And all that so yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, 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 I do know as he did mention, he said, I'll show mercy unto thousands of them that love me. Yeah. Keep my commandments. But I, I was trying to show the distinguish between the new commandment, you know, when, when he said, Love the Lord thy God with all our heart, that's so that mind. Right. It's not, not the ten. Now in Deuteronomy, there's, there's a mention about, I think it says Deuteronomy, of love the Lord thy God. Y'all should it's given twice. Yeah, the, 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 the uh well the Deuteronomy the, the, the commandments are given the second time. Yeah. Uh, Deuter yeah. But does it say that I wonder what it says, I don't know where it says. You might want to go into that, take does a look it, at it. It's, does it's it on encompass it in the first in, in two, three and 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 four. No. Does, does that kind of round that out? Well, just, well I, I'm going to say yes and no, right? Because it also applies when you're talking about that neighbor, honor that father and mother, don't cover somebody else's wife, you know, don't commit adultery, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Say, yeah. Right, in other words, we said we said that's the central idea of the commandment. Yeah, yeah. Love us to love the Lord that God with all the heart, all the soul, and our mind, and to love our neighbor ourselves. You see what I'm saying? It encapsulates all that when you say that. But I'm saying that when you're talking about the original text that he put down on the on the on the stones, it's not telling you to love your neighbor. It's telling you how to deal with your neighbor. It's telling you how yeah. to deal with God. Basically, don't kill him. Yeah. Don't kill, commit adultery <laughs> against him. Don't right. steal from them. Right. You know, and don't do no wall, no false witness against them. Exactly. You and know, so you, yeah. Which equals what? Love, right? It, it, yeah. it, well, it, well, it, it, it'll sum up to to 
a form of love. A form of love, <laughs> right. In other words, there was no love emphasis in the heart. Yeah. Right. And, and you had to do a sacrifice uh, what every year, and then you had to do yeah, to home. cover to cover all the to cover the yeah, fact that you not, not to remove, <laughs> not to remove, not to remove. You know, I just, I, mean, got, I, got to I just remember something. One visual. The Bible itself said that the covenant that we have through Jesus Christ is blood is better than the food. Yeah, the scripture said that. It said it's so far better a covenant, uh huh, than the Mosaic one was. Than the Abrahamic covenant was anyway. Right. Because it's in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Exactly. Jesus is the pinnacle. It's almost like as you're going up a mountain, every step is toward the peak. Uh-huh. But you're not at the peak. You're moving toward it. You're moving toward it. Yes. And so Jesus is the summit. He is the peak of the mountain. Everything that came before him pointed toward him, but it did not equal him. The law does not equal Christ Jesus. Keeping the law does not equal Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even though it's righteous, it's a step in the right direction, but it's not Jesus. Right. The prophets don't equal Christ Jesus because they're prophesying of his appearance. The prophecy didn't come to pass until Jesus appeared. So the prophecies were incomplete. The law was incomplete. Jesus came and completed everything. He is the fulfillment of what they pointed toward. Just like stepping up a mountain. It's, it's taking you to a destination, but it is not that destination itself. And you can be as successful at any level you want to be as you make your climb, but you have really reached the point until you get there. So Jesus Christ is the manifestation of the perfect will of God. Yes, yeah. He is the manifestation. There is nothing else that we will encounter or have encountered or learned or embraced that equals him. And he is the manifestation of the love that we are supposed to be the products of. Exactly. If the fruit that we are supposed to be producing is a fruit that he is. Uh-huh. And, and, and so therefore, I put up here after the first time they're saying to love the Lord, right? Right. And all that might is verse, it's, it's Deuteronomy 6, 5. To love the Lord thy God. With all thy heart. Oh, yeah, it's Deuteronomy. Yep, okay. All that might. That's that's the first time, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, these words that I command thee this day shall be, look at that, in your heart. Yep. See that? Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, when they when they encapsulated the the um, in the New Testament, I think that's when they started quoting it. Um, when Jesus asked him what the law said, you know when the lawyer uh, said that. Yeah. And then, Love the Lord, I got. He quoted this. Yeah, and then one of the I think in Matthew, I think one of the uh, scribes. Yeah. Peter said, "You're not far from the kingdom, boy." You know. You, you you're not far from the kingdom you know yep. and uh that that was that's when i was sitting there saying is let me see jesus quoted the first time but i think in mark this is in mark uh 12 30. brother Addison, we're saying that when it first came up as far as loving the lord that got all that mark heart and, and soul and mind and strength was in deuteronomy chapter 6 verse okay. 5. And then, then we heard it again quoted in the New Testament. But Deuteronomy, he, he did a whole bunch of different chapters saying, love the Lord thy God. Yeah. In there, right? Uh, but but it was interesting, the piece that snuck in there, not snuck in there, but emphasizing that, that, that see, we call it the central idea of the text of the Ten Commandments, was to love thy neighbor thyself. And here's the, the first time one of the... Uh, I think it was a scribe. Who was that? Who was that? Elf? That was Jesus on that one, right? That's Jesus. Jesus said, Jesus said, that was love the Lord thy God. Oh, then one of the scribes repeated it. Uh, and Jesus said, do you remember that? Jesus said it. Jesus said it twice then. He said it in Matthews 22, 37. He said it in Mark 12, 30. Jesus said it. And then the scribe, in verse 32, he has said, the scribe said unto him, well, master, thou said the truth. 
For there is one God, and there is none other but He. To love Him with all thy heart, and with all thy understanding, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and to love His neighbor as Himself is more than the whole burnt offering and sacrifice. You know, when Jesus looked and when Jesus saw that he answered his creed, he said to him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God. And nobody else asked him the question, right? <laughs> but the point is, if we're saying, Brother As what I'm saying is the emphasis of loving your neighbor. Uh, I don't think, you know, I didn't see that in the Old Testament about loving your neighbor. No, it didn't. I don't think it's written in about that. <laughs> also, it's not not and forgiving. I mean, blessing them to curse you is definitely not enough. <laughs> I know it. Well, not you, looking upon a woman to lust that ain't enough. Well, you or know. going the extra mile ain't enough. I mean, not, all that stuff, the stuff that Jesus gave them on the Sermon on the Mount was actually our new Decalogue. Uh, not Decalogue, but our new set of rules and regulations. Right. Well, it was the spirit of the law that Jesus was letting them in on. Uh -huh. Remember, because he was saying, thou say not to look up you know, not to cover, to look up on a woman. Uh -huh. I forgot how it said, but he said, but just to think upon her uh -huh. is is unrighteous. Right, right. You know, to, to think about having sex with a woman or to cover another man's woman. There's something that very thought is an act of sin. Yeah. The, 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 when Jesus came, I believe that he kind of, he really took, took, took us to another level. Uh, took us out of one realm and placed us in another. Took us out of the cardinal realm and placed us in the spirit. The spirit realm is where everything really counts. Because it's going to control eventually what happens in the cardinal realm anyway. Right. It's almost like standing in front of a mirror. The mirror ain't going to do nothing until you do something. <laughs> so what he addressed was our issues in the spirit. What motivates, what drives, what, what's, what's causing you to do such and such? Right. And he told us we're going to make the corrections here. It's going to manifest in the flesh. It's impossible to really lust out the woman if you don't even think about lusting out. You know, if my thoughts don't go around, that's what we've been saying. And, and, and it proves something else that's been said so many times before by this group that the war is actually between him and him. Oh like yeah, six, maybe six There's that battlefield maybe. right there. Some is a little, little larger than others by an inch, <laughs> but that's basically it. <laughs> yep. And if you lose it there, you done lost the period. It's like, yeah, yeah. And that, and I think that's what he was showing us: the power. Excuse me, uh, the manifestations of what we experience in the cardinal realm is the result of what's going on in between these two spaces. Yes, sir. To include health, healing. I mean. Prosperity, deliverance. Oh, yeah. so, so the boys, in, in some sense, the prosperity preachers had a point. Unfortunately, the basis for making that point was not Christ. It was, it, 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 the, 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 I mean, yeah, naming and claiming, but but let God speak it into you first because you need to know what you're naming and why. Right. Or maybe not why, but even you need to know the source of what you're doing. Right. And that's and what we got in the very trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's what we got. And, and, and I very think, physical well, death. Oh. I was coming. I was coming to a place to get a little bit. And y'all must forgive me for this, but I was getting a little bit anxious about the work that we were doing because I understood that our understanding was coming to a point where we might be able to enter some of these places where I haven't submitted ourselves to the Lord. And I got, <laughs> it's on heck, man. We're gonna be doing stuff, and then we're gonna get drawn off. But there's a mechanics behind all that we do. But we have to be submitted to the Lord before we go about executing these, 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 these practices because what he said to those other guys, he said, then we cast out those in your name? Yeah, right. <laughs> and I never we, knew you. Yeah. But I never knew you. I, never knew I don't you. even know you. And, and, yeah. but, and I think the biggest piece though is that I said, I, I wanted, and Brother Addison, what I was trying to bring in though, this was the fact is that my elder was Love your neighbor. I'm saying that the emphasis of loving your neighbor and that's the point. Is not prevalent, or at least does not appear to be as prevalent in the messages today. And it never was. And 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 that's that's the thing. It is love. We we went from 
from the spirit of the word yes sir to a letter of the yes, word exactly and 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 jesus came to move right. from the letter of the word to the spirit of the word so yes, we're, we 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 flip flop yes sir we, we we went right back to old testament times i mean everything about the church today has flipped right back right yep to Old sure Testament is. times. I exactly. mean, you got the, the religious leaders doing exactly what they were doing when Christ came into his ministry. You got you got people who are being downtrodden and everything and not getting the gospel, right. just like when Jesus came to give it. I mean, yeah. everything has completely come to full circle again because the big Bible says, "My people perish for lack of knowledge." Yes, and that knowledge is supposed to come from the ministry, and yes. the ministry has failed the, the the children of God once again. And so now the Spirit has to replace that man with the Spirit of Christ. And redo this thing all over again. Yeah, and that point all over again, and that's 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 the that's the bad part and the good part. Yeah, because it is not left up to us. Amen. It is not yeah. left up to us because the Spirit of God will make a way. Exactly, and He will yeah. make a way. And so when I look at just that that function, yeah. Of, of okay if the Bible is saying we're to love our neighbors yeah have our as ourselves right that right there is the right the field right and ready to be picky exactly. so why would you burn down <laughs> the field that's ready to be picked right. you know that's right you can't burn down your crop. No, exactly. That, that's the crop. Exactly. You know, and yet we're burning down the crop and trying to build up the workers. Come on now. And, that, and, that, you know, that, that we're, we're, we're tending to the workers who ain't got no job to get out there and get the crop because there's we no seen crop. Nothing, man. We seen households torn apart by what, what, what you're seeing right now. Exactly. Well, so the church did not emphasize to them partners in those relationships that they need to love each other. Exactly. You don't go in a man's house and say, "Well, they ain't going nowhere. You need to get rid of them." <laughs> you look at your spouse and say, "What? You ain't going nowhere. What kind of crap is that?" I mean, and and and, I, and it happened to me. If, if they ain't doing, if they ain't going anywhere, you need to get. Where were they going? Where they? And, and what were you expecting as a result of whatever your relationship was with them? Exactly. But because we took love off of the, the message to me, it was totally just. The love was not even in the scenario, man. It's like there was something else they were trying to accomplish other than loving. They were teaching us to do something other than love the person that was in the room with you. Right. You right. laying next to the daughter side by side to this person, and you got an agenda aside from loving them? Come on now. Come and on. that's the bottom line of why you with them? I mean, what, they're going to help you get the company going? They're going to help you, you know, get more money? They're going to help what would they, What was their purpose in your life? You don't love them. You with them for the wrong reason. Exactly. And and that's have, have has become has become my mantra is for my witness to the people is concerned. If I have no compassion for that person, I don't feel worthy to I, I don't even think I should say anything to them. Period. Yeah. You know, why am I saying it? Exactly. And, and, and the hard part about any witness is to assess yourself first. The mold in my, the beam in my eye, most of the time is I don't yeah. even care about that person. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I, don't, I don't have no compassion toward that person. I barely know them. I ain't trying to get to know them. Ain't nothing about them that I'm really familiar with. I'm just out there talking. Yeah. And if you don't have that, then I think maybe we missed it when we were listening to mm -hmm. Jesus because Jesus just said he had compassion on the masses mm -hmm. and healed them of all their afflictions. Exactly. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only God. Mm -hmm. So the driver behind all of this stuff was charity, was love, was compassion. Mm -hmm. And we missed that. And then we try to build the kingdom on top of missing that. 
Yeah. How are you going to build a kingdom on, on top of a foundation that ain't there? I mean, on, the man. kingdom of God is a kingdom of love. So how can you? I mean, we, we, we went we, back we, to the Old Testament. <laughs> we missed the mark because we, we miss we miss the spirit of the word. Hey, we, 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 we get into the word and we pull out what we want, how we want it, where we want it, and what we want out of it. Exactly. So we, we, we've been doing that for you. When I say we, I'm saying the church. Yes. Okay. And so it's pulled us so far away from oh, the spirit yes. that we don't even hear the spirit anymore. It's, yeah. it's now it's okay. I need a topic that's going to address these people so I can get them to do what I need them to do. Yeah. That's right. Now so this topic for this week is going to be this because the church needs this. Right. So let me preach this to pull everybody in one of course so I can achieve this. Not so that God can do what God wants. Right. right. And then it's presented as a message from God because they're using scriptures. Yes. But the spirit. Like the spirit is what's left out of this process exactly so when you are loving the people who are only doing what you need done to support that local body come on you're missing the mark exactly. you're, you're not loving them at all you're not actually, really loving them. You're using them. check this out you've actually repented from the word of god yes you did you've gone in the wrong direction yeah. So when you love those who are outside of the church Come on. enough to give those who are inside the church the gospel yes. to go out and reach them, then you're looking at the spirit of the world. You're looking at the spirit Man. of the world. And that to me exercises every interaction. Our interpersonal relationship with every person that we come in contact with should be more than in. It's amazing how these when when we got on this CIT, how the, the first three things that we approach are the essential things yeah. to okay. do the work of the ministry. Yeah. I mean, when we did, okay, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a soul. Yeah. That right there breaks it down. This is how this new covenant operates. Operate. In the people yeah. in this earth, in this physical realm. Come on. This is how the kingdom has come for this dispensation to function. So you won't have no surprise. You no. won't have a surprise when you share the gospel and people just turn away like you don't mean that. Mm -hmm. You won't have no surprise when you share the gospel and people are interested in it, but then you come back to them, they don't have nothing to do with you. you when you share the gospel and they love it and they seem to have gotten it, and then you come back and they've gone back to doing what they were because the world has choked it. The world has choked it. So be surprised by it. Exactly. And you won't be surprised when you share it and somebody grasp it and they're out doing the work in the ministry. So there is no surprise about sharing the kingdom of God. And then the love that is required. If you don't do it in love. Come on. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. You you you're 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 basically wasting a life that you could be pleasuring your most desirable pleasure center, which is your flesh. Come on. Yep. <laughs> so yep. why why deny something that your your that you're that you're actually should be serving? So there is the adulterer. Yeah. If if if, if you're married to your flesh and you're trying to do this. This ministry stuff, you're trying to be a Christian, you're an adulterer to your flesh. Because in the end, deep Good from me, anyway. I never knew you. You you wasted your time. I never knew you. That's the point. So it's it's a, it's no mystery. It's right there. If 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 you're willing to take the time to get this understanding. And uh it's just my hope. It is my prayer and my hope that we we do what, what, what Paul prayed for, that the eyes of our understanding 
our life. Amen. That we may know Amen. the depth, the height, the width, everything that God has for us. Yeah. And the